Hi everyone, my name is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I am an independent Scentsy consultant and I love all things wax. So today I got my um, Island Days wax collection um, yesterday and I had also um, put in an order for a June Whiff box for a friend of mine and um, that is on back order. So not sure what's going on with that, but Anyway, so I have the Island Days and then I have a Pink Zebra um, haul too to show you that um, I have a consultant that I get things from and a little bit of a rant about this um, delivery and it has nothing to do with these scents in general. It's the um, ice pack that they're putting in. I don't know how it is for you guys, but it's a cloth and they're not putting in a Ziploc bag, which I think is important. These all came wet because, well, I got it yesterday. We were having a birthday party for my granddaughter. So I grabbed it off the porch till everybody left and everything went on. I did not open this box. So I opened it first thing this morning and everything, they had the Mylar package um, in there. I take it out. The ice pack is all dripping wet and all of my bars, the outsides were wet. I don't think the insides are. So I am gonna put a thing into Scentsy not to get refunds or exchanges on my bars but just to let them know that that is not working out I mean maybe it is for you it's not for me I actually took that out they have so much paper packaging in Scentsy stuff they really pack it and I laid that thing on the paper and it just sopped through there like everything was wet so I'm not really liking the fact that they're not putting them in bags so I don't know if there's a bag shortage I don't know what's going on but I got the Island Days collection. So I'm super excited about that. So that's one good thing. <laughs> so you always can look at your packing slip to see what's on back order. And when I first saw it, I thought that's an awful small box. There's no way that June whiff box is in there. And I was right. So it's a little disappointing, but I'm sure that there's a reason. So we'll find out. So one thing about these, they are super cute super pretty packaging i love it and i think the writing like the font has to do with like how if you see like tiki bar sometimes how that's written you know just i love love the packaging the pictures are so cool so the only one i smelled because i couldn't resist was sunshine and tan lines because that sounds like something i would act absolutely love so, or no, 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 no. I smelled Tierra and coconut. That's the one I smelled. So, because those, anything with coconut, I love. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to get started right to those. Um, oh, and when I grabbed my scent notes, I actually grabbed my, um, my grocery list. So, I'm going to reach over this way. I feel like there's, oh, it's a crack in my screen. I thought there was a hair on my camera or on the screen of my phone. Okay, so first let's do Driftwood and Jasmine. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Everything just like that. The ocean in the background, so pretty. Super pretty color of wax. I love the purple. So this is Driftwood, Jasmine, and Tahitian Vanilla. Oh yeah, that smells good. Definitely you can smell the floral, but that Tahitian vanilla gives it a real creaminess. And so this, it smells like it's gonna be strong. Um, I don't know. I smell more of the floral right now on Cold Sniff. Maybe a little bit of a driftwood note, but I think that one will be good. Hopefully it's, I love Jasmine normally. Hopefully it's not a little headache inducing. We'll see, we'll try it. I just love that though. That packaging is just gorgeous. Okay, Star Apple and Freesia. Tropical Mango and Star Apple and Pink Freesia. So again, gorgeous packaging. You have all the mango, which I love the taste of mango. And I don't always, I'll be honest, love mango in scents. Sometimes I think it gives it a cat pee smell, but oh, that's pretty. I wonder if that's kind of the, oh no, star fruit and star apple, probably two different things, but mm, now that smells good. It's, this smells like a tropical drink. 
I don't really get a whole lot of pink freesia right now. But pink, I'm thinking maybe it's a sweeter version. Star apple. I can smell apple. And definitely mango. But it smells like the mango's done in a good way. This smells tart to me. Like a tart, um, sweet tart type of smell. So I like that. Salted bergamot breeze. Ocean breeze with a hint of pineapple and salted bergamot. Super pretty. Love that. And it's a beautiful blue. Almost like a cornflower blue. Mm, this is giving me like Atlantic Air vibes. Yeah. I can smell like the saltiness. Oh, that's really good. This a little bit like of the bergamot. I don't really smell a whole lot of pineapple. Definitely Ocean Breeze and the bergamot. I don't smell a whole lot of pineapple, but maybe that'll come out on warmed. Okay, Tierra and Coconut. And I wonder what the difference is with between this and uh, Cocoa for Coconuts. But this is Tierra Flower or Tierra Flower, I'm not sure how you say it, and Coconut, enjoy a citrus sunset. So it looks like there's um, lemons and coconut. But there's a lady in the background here sipping on a drink. So it's almost like they took a real life picture and then combined like a drawing. So that's super cute. So you can see the Thierry flower in real life. I'm assuming that's what that is. I actually don't know. But let's see what color this is. Oh, a beautiful yellow. Oh, wow. Yes. This does. This is the one I smelled. Yep. And it's still wet. You Can you see... This is not wax, that's water. You probably can't see it, but there's water on this one. This is suntan lotion to me. It's almost like at the beach from Bath and Body, but with a sweeter floral note there. I don't smell citrus per se right now, but I really like that. But then again, I love coconut and I love sun tan lotion smells. So let's see. Sunshine and tan lines. Orange flower, creamy banana, sunbathed by a sea of whipped coconut. So here we have like a little bit of a drawing combined with the water, the lady laying in the sun, nice tan legs, which is what I wish I had. Mine are bright white. So let's see. And this is a really pretty beachy brown remind you of sand or something like that oh the banana mixed in with this is wonderful mm -hmm. oh i really get banana i really right now on cold i don't think i'm smelling orange but it's orange flower so i'm not sure oh wow that is a really creamy with that, I think that maybe that whipped coconut and the banana, because it's creamy banana. So that's the creaminess I'm getting. Oh, that is good. I smell a lot of banana in this. I think I'm really going to like this. Now, this collection is out right now for consultants to try. So it will be coming out, I believe, July 25th, I think, for customers. So if this is something you're interested in, if you have a Sensi Consultant, get with her. If you don't, I can help you. Um, but look how gorgeous the colors are on these. Aren't they amazing? I love that. And the pictures, again, are gorgeous. Every one of these, I think, has potential to be a really good, uh, good scent. And they seem strong. So we'll see how they go. So that was those. Now, also, I got... I have a lot of videos to do, guys. I'm so behind. Um, just so much has been happening here. My husband had back surgery. It's just been a lot of stuff. Um, and so I'm pretty busy. But I have so much wax empty that I've warmed. Um, different products that I went through from Sensi, Maybe some Bath and & Body. And candles that are empty. So many things. And my basket is overflowing like you wouldn't believe. So I have got to do a video on that. But I also get stuff from Pink Zebra, which is another um, wax company. And I uh, wanted to show you this because 
Um, my consultant is wonderful and Pink Zebra is a good company too and I love their wax so I can't get away from it. So I'm gonna take a sip of coffee quick. And I'm gonna get on this. So it just came in, a, I just have a small box here. So it's not a huge um, order, but she does a thing called the Paisley's Pick VIP Club and she'll send every, um, every month I get one of these. Now this is just through her. And this is their shop host join thing, but she lines it up with samples. Now, some of these I already, I think, have tried, but she gives always, they have a scent of the month, so she gives that. And I tried the uh, rainbow cookies. That was the July scent, or is the July scent. And I really liked this. So what'll happen then, she asks you what scent you would like, and it doesn't have to be from these scents. It can be anything. My cat just did that. <laughs> she <laughs> my cat <laughs> climbed up here and knocked the phone over with her nose. Fun times. Okay, cats. <laughs> She's 18. We'll excuse her. But anyway, this scent was really good. So what, what I did was I said, I want a jar of this. You can pick a jar out of the catalog, a jar that she has on hand. You can pick from these. It doesn't matter, but she orders you a jar. And I think it's like right now it's like $16 and you get this every month plus a jar um, that you want. And if you have anything else you want to add to it, you can add to it. So these uh, scents are chewy oatmeal cookies, which was a limited one. I did have that one. That's a pretty good one. Baby powder, I've used that. I think that's been in the samples before. It's good. Uh, sweet pea and lily, that's a pretty scent. They don't have it all the time. Uh, Royal blue citrus, that was a nice one. Life's a peach, I'm not big on peach scents. Simply Lemon is lemony and Everyday Pine. So that's just your typical pine scent. So I'll show you what else I got here. I love the hand sanitizer. And I had gotten a small one that you hook to your purse. And it was in uh, Relax Lavender Vanilla. It smelled so good. So I asked her what she had on hand. And she had this Energy one. And this is the bigger bottle. And they do have this available in their regular catalog. So... This one's like a citrusy scent. So I got this to add into my little one. With their hand sanitizer, you put it on and it almost feels like you're washing your hands. But then as you rub it and you're like, oh my God, this is never gonna spread. But as you rub it, it kind of goes with the pH in your skin and it's just a whole thing. It feels so good, I really like it. So that's just like a citrusy, um, grapefruit, lemon, you know, type of scent. Um, so their stuff, their sprinkles come in either cartons or they come in um, bags. She sends them in bags or they come in jars. And the jars and the bags are supposed to be the same. I don't know if they really are exact, but um, this, uh, I believe she was having a sale on. San Where are we go? Okay, Santa Cruz Sunset. This is not a scent you can buy currently. Um, they did have it offered there for a while as like bring back scent. And so I got the um, the whole carton from her. And this one is weathered driftwood, salted ocean breeze combined with gentle swirls of Bonsmeyer folk smoke, a perfect summer night. And I love this so much. And they discontinued it and bring it didn't bring it back this year. So when it came back, ugh, as a bring back scent, I had to get it. So always in the carton, you have a little um, scooper. Now in the jars, you don't, but you just take the sprinkles and you dump a scoop in your warmer and then um, they're all soy. So you dump a scoop, scoop in your warmer, two scoops, three scoops, whatever, but they're kind of fun to play in. And this one is, how can I explain it? It's like a smoky, smoky men's cologne type of scent it's just so good and it lasts a long time you only need a little bit and it just goes and goes and it's literally when it says swirls of bonfire smoke that's that's exactly like spot on so it kind of has that um salted ocean type scent you know your cleaner ref uh, fresh type of scent um with that breeze because you get the breeze with the salty sea air and then you get a little bit of that smoke so it's it's a good one i'm going one and one about it but i absolutely love it and i love the color of it 
Um, so next, um, she had some scents still available from different things that they had come out and I got the key lime cake. So she put it down, she bought them in cartons, put them in the bag. So the key lime cake, I don't have the scent notes. They're not written on here, but, um, so see, sometimes I don't feel like the bags are as full, but this is a cakey, um, bright lime type of scent. So just with a little bit, it's a key lime. So, you know, that's really, um, tart, but then you just get that little bit of hint of like a vanilla type cake and it's so good. So that's how she wrote key lime cake and that's the color. It's definitely a lime green. I love that. So I grabbed one of those. Uh, next I grabbed huckleberry pie. So that again is in the bag. These were all bring back scents or limited time scents that she had cartons of. And this one smells so good. This is like the huckleberry, but you really get a pie note to it. So when it says huckleberry pie, you smell the pie. Like Scentsy's red, white, and berry pie. I wanted that pie and all I got was cough syrup. So I wish, I mean, you could add to it, I guess, but this is really like if you took berries, like a, I get a huckleberry, whatever, and you made like a compote type of thing, put some sugar in there and you have it cooking on the stove and then you make it for your pie filling or something like that. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So this was one that she has limited. I don't even know if she still has any of it, but it's so good. The one that I picked for my scent to have um, for this month was Summer Romance. And that one's in their catalog now. And this is more like a, a sweet type of, it's a, you can see the purple. I wish it's like a light, light lavender color. I wish I had the scent notes here. I probably have them over in my catalog, but it's a perfumey scent, but not really floral, um, strong perfume. It's like a sweet, soft perfume scent. And it's, it's really good. It's light, but it's really good. You could mix this even with a vanilla, anything. It'd be so good. And then the last one that I got was Lemon Pound Cake. This was a scent they had out, I, if I'm right, they had it out last year. I'm pretty sure in the regular catalog. Why they got rid of it, I don't know. Because this is so good, so strong, in, in my opinion. In my warmers, in my house, this is strong. And it's, it, to me, it almost ends up smelling a little bit like Fruit Loops. <laughs> It actually does. When you open up um, a um, box of Fruit Loops and you open the bag for the first time, I don't know if it's the glaze that's on the Fruit Loops before they made everything less sugar. Which why, why? I mean, you need the sugar on these cereals, in my opinion. You already know you're eating sugar. Just let it be. But this is, it's lemon, but it's and it also does smell like lemon pound cake because you get that deep richness from a dense pound cake but you get like that lemon glaze or the the lemon on the inside oh so good so mm, i just love this and i can't stop smelling it but anyway so this this is the other one i got and then i got um anytime she has light bulbs available i grab a four pack because um you need them back here's a pink zebra warmer that i have down in here for the fourth of july and it's just like Scentsy. In my opinion, buy the bulbs that go with the warmers. Don't buy one at Walmart. Don't buy, oh, I can just stick any old bulb. No, it just doesn't work that way. So this is the Pink Zebra bulb. So when they're available, I think this four pack's like five bucks or something. So you can't really beat it. So I try to stock up on them for if my bulbs burn out. So that is my Pink Zebra haul. Um, if you have any questions on Pink Zebra, I can hook you up with my consultant. If you have any questions on this, um, the Island Days collection, hit me up. If you have a consultant, get with her and ask her how you can get these. If you don't, again, I'll be more than happy to help you. There's so many things coming in July and, um, we just voted for Bring Back My Bar for January. So that's going to be exciting to see what comes back. I think there's going to be some really good things. So everybody have a great day. Um, it's beautiful here in Pennsylvania where I'm at. 
So I hope it is where you are too. I don't like the heat, but I do like it to be nice out. And it feels like it's not as humid as yesterday. It was terrible humidity. But have a great day. And um, I'll be doing another video soon. So like and subscribe. Give me some comments, especially what you think about these ice packs they're sending. I'd love to hear. And everybody, um, thanks for watching.